Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily E7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the number of stirrups in a beam. So this is a beam and this beam has been supported by two vertical members known as the columns. And these stirrups are we can call it the transverse reinforcement is provided in a beam in order to resist the shear stresses. So we are going to find out the number of stirrups in a beam. This is just an example to show you that how to determine the number of stirrups in any kind of a beam. So the beam is a total length of 10 meter and there are stirrups provided in a beam and this in these stirrups has a diameter of bar of 10 mm and they are provided at a distance of 200 millimeter center to center. So it means the distance between these two stirrups is 200 mm. Center to center distance between the stirrups is 200. So this means that stirrups has a bar of 10 mm provided at 200 millimeter center to center distance. Now how we can find the number of stirrups in this beam? There is a very simple formula to find out the number of stirrups in a beam. So the number of stirrups is equal to the, the total length of the beam. Dividing by the spacing of the stirrups. Plus 1. I will also show you that why we add this 1 in this formula. So the total length of the beam is given to us which is 10 meter. So just write it here 10 meter. Dividing by the spacing of the stirrups. We know that the spacing. This distance between the two stirrups or we can say the center to center distance between each stirrups is 200 millimeter so 200 mm and I want to convert 200 mm into meter so 200 millimeter will become 0.2 meter so 0.2 meter plus 1 so just I put the values in this formula meter meter will be cancelled so I got 10 divided by 0.2 plus 1 I got 50 plus 1, it means 51. So 51 number of stirrups are used in this beam. So this is the way how to find out the number of stirrups. Now the question is that why I add this one? Because we ignore the last stirrup in our beam, that's why we add one. So let's take an example that this is simple case. And I have three stirrups here, one, two, and three. And let's suppose the total length of this side is 200 millimeter and the center to center distance between the stirrup is 100 millimeter 100 millimeter and 100 millimeter now the formula to find out the number of stirrups is total length total length is 200 millimeter dividing by the spacing of stirrup which is 100 millimeter so if I divide this 200 by 100, I got 2. Why? We have 3 stirrups. 1, 2 and 3 stirrups. That's why I add this 1 with the formula in order to find out the total number of stirrups used in a beam. So it should be kept in mind that 1 should always be added in this formula in order to find out the total number of stirrups because we always ignore the last stirrup used in the beam. Hope you guys understand how to find out the number of stirrups in a beam and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.